Hi everyone, it's Miss Olson, and um, today we're going to be using um, yarn painting with line to complete um, the lines around the objects within our work. So line um, is used to make everything in art um, because lines create shapes and you can draw anything you'd like with lines. So we already drew most of our lines in our artwork and we did start painting last week. If you did not finish painting, your first step is going to be um, using color pencil to complete your drawing portion. Um, after that, you're going to use um, yarn, which has been soaked in blue water. So I have this container and I'm gonna open it up. And in this container is all this yarn um, soaked in blue water. It's sorted by warm, cool, and neutral colors. Now, um, we already chose one color for our line, so you can see that in this one, mine was green. And later, we're gonna put ourself into our work with a final connecting line. Um, but we'll worry about putting our photograph in later. Today, um, we're going to first um, Finish what we started before with our color. If you did not finish coloring anything or adding color to complete your drawing, you can complete whatever you started. So I started painting this background. I did not fully finish that. I'm gonna get out my color pencil and finish filling this in. I'm gonna take my time, get all the white spaces and really finish that. And now I'm moving quickly, but for you, this might look a little bit, we call it slow car coloring. Take your time and fill in anything that's not done yet. Um, if we need to, we'll do this step again next week in terms of the line painting. So I'm filling in my background that I did not finish yet. Um, filling in my shoes. my skin tone. And okay. All right, so once you fully finish that, um, we will then move into the other next step. So now I'm going to look at these lines that I've started. I'm going to pick at least one of the objects in my work to, to um, paint with line. So first I'm going to um, think of what color I chose for these lines or pick one, monochromatic one color. And I'm going to now get that line out. This has been soaked with gluey water. So it's not sticky yet, but it has glue in it. So once it's stuck to your paper, it will dry like that. So what I'm gonna do is use this line. Our hands are gonna get a little messy. We'll clean them up later. I'm gonna find a line in my work to attach it to. So let's do that now. I'm gonna to go to my work. I'm now gonna find, maybe I'll start with this oval and I'm gonna stick it on where I want it to go. So find the line and stick it on. Now I'm gonna find another piece and I'm gonna find another line. Now this is a little long for this area, but now, so now I'm gonna go and stick it on to another area of my work. I'm gonna stick it on there, kind of press it on and it'll stay. Now I'm gonna find another one. I'm gonna connect it to where I'm, my lines were and press it down a little bit. Now it's not gonna fully stick down, so you just wanna lay it where you want it to go. I'm gonna grab another one. We need to get scissors out to cut them smaller, we will, but we're just gonna try to use them as the size they are to start. So I'm starting with all the lines on my butterfly. You can start with a different object. If you're having trouble finding an object to, to enclose or circle around, maybe you just draw a shape um, on your paper with the yarn, and I'll show you that now, too. All right. So I'm going around my butterfly. So if we do need to get scissors out, we're gonna carefully 
cut them the size we need and then stick it on. All right, so that's my first one. If you're having trouble finding a shape, I could simply say, okay, well, I'm going to now choose to make lines on my ground that are new that I didn't even add yet. So you can add details that maybe weren't there if you're having trouble finding something to add. And you're gonna stick them on, press them down. And later, when our photograph is in the artwork, um, these lines are going to become a part of that interactive piece with us. So I started with this. Um, when I'm in my artwork, oops. when I am now later in my artwork, this line, we're going to add a line to connect to these so it looks like I'm actually drawing these parts. And um, that's what you can see here. So I started with my house, my door. Um, I added some parts that weren't there, like this part connecting to the pizza. And then once we put ourselves into the work next week, we're going to add that line coming out to draw from our magical crayon. So um, you're picking a portion of your work to add line, glued lines to. Um, I chose my butterfly. I could keep adding. I could add one to my tree. Um, you're picking that one color that we chose in the beginning. And the last thing that I'm going to remind you is if we need to get scissors out, we will. But, for example, I could say, okay, well, I want to add this to this butterfly. If it's a little longer than it needs to be, you know, these lines might just end up being a little longer, and that's okay. I can just add them where they're supposed to go. And stick them on, press down, and they will dry like that. All right. So um, I hope that you have a wonderful art class painting with your um, glue water. Our hands are going to be a little sticky. At the end, we're just going to wash them on our rags. Um, I will put those out early so that you can use them um, as you're working. And remember that we're choosing that one monochromatic color and we're working with our lines. Um, we have talked a lot about line variation. Lines can go up and down, side to side, diagonal, diagonal. We can have straight, curvy, zigzag, dotted, loopy, spiral, wiggly, bumpy, wavy, broken. Um, and we'll do our dance to get a little reminder of those lines. Um, you don't have a lot of lines in your work. Like I said, you can um, create new lines. Um, to create those things in the background of your work to go along. Some of your works ended up being more abstract, and that's okay in art, and some of your works were more realistic, like I showed you, um, and that's okay too. Have a great art class, and I will see you next time. Thank you.